So sometimes these subpages are real confusing for people. So the way that you can look and work with a subpage is, first of all, I have the edit button because I'm an admin and teachers have admins. So if I click on edit, I can look at this page. Now the problem is I don't know which these pages are. What I can do is I can click on Wikitext Editor and I'll do this a lot of times if I want to see the name of this page. So I can actually see that this page is named Topic 1 Overview. So I can actually copy that. I'm just going to go ahead and click Save so that I don't have the little mess there. And then I can click here in Search and I can paste Topic 1 Overview and I can find just that page. I click on it. Now I can go into and look at the revisions. Now I actually found a, a page that doesn't have the, the stuff in it, but I could click here and compare and get the revisions. But that doesn't help you unless if you're a student. So what students can do, this is what I always advise to them, is they click down here, they can click on edit, they said somebody else deleted my page, or I don't know who what to, to do with it. I can click on this page and I'll just tell them to do something little, like if they can if they can find a mistake to correct, to just correct that. So I'm going to click here and see if I can fix this text that somebody made a mess with. I think it's Arial is our default. And let me apply. And I just fixed that. The rest of this needs to be fixed. It should all look consistent. So I'm going to click Save. And now I can, once it's saved, I can go to Recent Changes. And I can see that Cool Cat Teacher has made a change to Freedom Choice in Topic 1. So I'm going to click on that, which is me. And I can look and see here are 34 revisions, what all has happened on this page. Now you can see that NGE and AAHS have done a really nice job of saying what they've done, which is great. Uh, my student has done a little bit, not, not probably enough. Um, and so I can say, okay, well what did uh, W. Melnick do, I can click there and I can say, okay, what has this person done? Um, and I can look and see. Now, sometimes things don't show up. That means you just have to click view wiki text. Let's see what Miss Melnick did. She looks like she fixed a wiki war and pasted some stuff in there and tried to fix some things. So that's what she did. So I can compare. And of course, you can go back in and when you see somebody, if I wanted to restore this, I could say revert to this version. I can turn off the highlight changes and copy and paste this and put it in if somebody has messed it up. So sometimes I'll, I'll copy that and then I'll go back and edit the page and paste it back in if somebody's deleted my content. You do have to turn off the, the highlight changes because you don't want to copy it in red or green or whatever. Okay, so these are sub pages, but they're still regular all wiki pages. Uh, you got some boo-boos here, so that needs to be fixed, of course. But overall, this is how this works. I hope this helps you understand.